So for this video guys, I'm going to be doing another reaction to Tom Segura and this clip is about him meeting Mike Tyson So let's check out the clip. We'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. This is not made up. I'll tell you this man I <sighs> not too long ago. I met former heavyweight champion of the world iron Mike Tyson and <laughs> It completely changed my perspective on a famous person because I thought I knew famous people. Friends of mine on TV and movies, they are dog shit next to Mike Tyson. <laughs> Think about how f he is famous the way an ex-president is famous in that he can't go anywhere in the world without everyone knowing who he sure. is. It's really crazy. You could take him to the Philippines, you could take him to Siberia, you could take him to Namibia and people would be like, mong, 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 Mike Tyson. <laughs> Everybody knows Mike Tyson. <laughs> That's a perfect impression, by the way. So we're on an afternoon flight from L.A. to Pittsburgh. He is sitting across the aisle, one row back. He's right there. It takes an extra hour to board the flight. Why? Because every passenger that boards sees him, and they're like, get the fuck out of here. And they shit their pants. And he's super nice. He shakes everyone's hand. Flight attendants are telling people, go to your seat. And they're like, nope. <laughs> Talking to him. And they're like, we're not asking you. We're telling you. They're like, I don't give a shit. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it takes forever. We leave late. I don't say anything. About half an hour is left in the flight. And then I tell myself, you have to say something. This is, you're never going to run into him again. So I get up. I walk over to his seat. And I go, I'm sorry to bother you. I grew up watching all your fights, and I'm a big fan. And he goes, well, thank you. <laughs> I said, I'm just curious. Why are you going to Pittsburgh? And he goes, I'm promoting a fight. What about you? I said, well, I'm a comedian. I'm going to do shows. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> you're a comedian? I go, yeah. He said, where's your show? I said, it's a comedy club called the Pittsburgh Improv. And he goes, where's that? And I go, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> He goes, is your show tonight? And I go, no. It's 11 o'clock at night, and we're on a plane. <laughs> we're in the sky right now, Mike. And he goes, well, when's your show? And I go, tomorrow. And he goes, where? And I go, still at the <laughs> Pittsburgh Improv. He goes, how do I find it? I go, I don't fucking know. Google it. Then it hits me like two seconds later how batshit crazy it is of me to tell him to like Google it. You know? Like, <laughs> you figure it out, fuckface. So, am I out of my mind? So I grab a DVD out of my bag, I give it to him. I go, it has my name on it, just type it in, it'll show you where I'm at. He goes, thank you. And I go, that's cool. I met Tyson. Ten seconds later, I'm sitting in my seat, and I hear, Tom. <laughs> yes, Mike Tyson? He goes, were you on television recently? And I go, mm-mm. He goes, are you sure? And I go, yeah, I think so. And he goes, nothing? I go, I mean, I'm on Netflix. And he goes, I fucking love Netflix. <laughs> Okay. He goes, what's your favorite show on Netflix, Tom? And I go, are we really doing this right now? Like, shouting across the aisle. I like House of Cards, man! Like, it feels crazy, okay? So, I'm super nervous. I don't know what to say. I'm like, I don't know. I watched Breaking Bad on Netflix. And he goes, my wife likes Breaking Bad. But he said it like, you like shit my wife likes, you know? And I was like, ugh. Then his eyes light up like saucers. And he's like, oh, you like Sons of Anarchy? And I know it's a great show. There's a lot of great shows. I can't see every show. I've never seen it. Do you ever lie like a child to an adult? Because <laughs> you think they'll like you more if you like the same thing? Well, I saw that face, and I go, it's my favorite show of all time. <laughs> 
And he's like, it's the shit. And I was like, oh, I know that one episode. That's my favorite. And then he gives me a fist bump across the aisle, right? Is this not registering to you? I get a Mike Tyson <laughs> fist bump. Yeah. I can, I can feel his powers transferring from his hand <laughs> into mine. I'm like, oh, shit, that's crazy. I'm right? like, so happy. And then a few seconds later, I feel a bear paw on my shoulder. And I turn, and Tyson is standing above me. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Immediately, he leans down, and he whispers in my ear so nobody else can hear. And he goes, I've been watching a lot of Netflix. That's it. That's all he said. Dude, I never thought that sentence could be terrifying. And now he's just looking at me like, now you say something, bitch, you know? And I was like, yeah, I fucking, I never turn it off. It's the best. I don't know what to say. And he goes, nah, I recognize you. And I go, what? And he holds up the DVD. And I go, I just gave that to you. <laughs> and he goes, it's the same picture that's on Netflix. And I go, oh, yeah, that's the same picture. He goes, I know who you are. I go, that's crazy. And he goes, give me your phone number. And I go, what? <laughs> I give him my number. We land. I fucking run off the plane, OK? It's like too much weird shit for one day. The next day, I'm sitting in my hotel room, and I get a text message from Mike Tyson. <laughs> and you know what it says? Where's your show? <laughs> I go, the Pittsburgh Improv. Where's that? I fucking Google it. I send it to him, and the phone rings. Hey, Tom. And I go, what's up, champ? <laughs> he goes, we're coming to your show tonight, brother. And I go, that's fucking crazy. And he goes, yeah, we want to watch you do your work. And I go, well, I'm honored. And he goes, it's all love. <laughs> I know what he's saying I know the expression and I just want to reciprocate but I, I don't know what to do and I'm super nervous and I just go I love you <laughs> and he goes mm, good luck at your show and he hangs on the phone <laughs> Seattle you're the best thank you so much Oh guys, that was amazing. That was some of his best work right there. Um, great, great stuff. Great material. Um, great story. And it's, it's really believable because sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. And you'll find yourself or catch yourself in the weirdest situations and be like, yo, is this really happening? Is this really going on? So definitely a believable story. And uh, Tom Segura just delivering the goods as usual. So if you like the video, hit the like button because it helps the channel out a lot, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see next. But I'm going to wrap this video up right now, guys. So take care of yourself. Stay safe because it is a crazy world. And there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.